The latest USDA state report rates Nebraska's winter wheat 59% good to excellent with 12% poor or very poor. But UNL Extension entomologist Jeff Bradshaw in Scotts Bluff says winter conditions have likely been favorable to overwintering army cutworms, especially since that area of the state entered winter with high populations. Bradshaw says the pest likes to feed on both wheat and alfalfa and explains what farmers can be looking for when they scout their fields. Well, the army cutworm is generally either a nocturnal feeder or feeds on more cloudy conditions. So if you're out scouting a field and it's bright and sunny out, you might have to poke around in the soil a bit to find them. But some of the signs that you can see that they're actively feeding is you'll see a wheat stand that's being cut back. You might have bare patches in the field. And it'll kind of look like something's nibbled at those uh, seedling wheat plants. Uh, it'll look quite a bit different than it would be if it were a disease and you still had um, leaf components and whatnot still sitting there in the soil. And the same with alfalfa. You'll find uh, little chew marks uh, throughout the alfalfa field. And if you dig around the soil, uh, you can find these rather large larvae uh, within the soil. Bradshaw says the treatment threshold is four or more larvae per square foot in either winter wheat or alfalfa. However, in stressed or thin stands, he says the recommendation is then two or more larvae per square foot.